Now let us look into the fifth question in projection of plane problems. We have a question here, a rectangular lamina of side 35 mm into 20 mm rests on HP on one of its shorter edges. The lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the top view. The edge on which the lamina rests being parallel to both HP and VP draw its projections and find its inclination to HP and VP. So let us look at the criteria which are to be satisfied in this question. The first criteria is obviously the shape, a rectangular lamina of sides 35 mm into 20 mm resting on HP. Now it is resting on HP on all for shorter edges. Now the shorter edge obviously is the 20 mm edge. The lamina is rotated about the edge on which it rests till it appears as a square in the top view. So essentially the angle of inclination of the lamina to HP has not been provided but what is provided is the angle, the top view looks like a appears as a square in the top view. So the lamina has to be rotated until the top view looks like a square and then we will be able to determine what is the angle of inclination to HP. And finally, the edge on which it rests, that is a short, one of the shorter edges, being parallel to both HP and VP. So let us go into the quest, uh, solution of the problem. I have X, Y, VP and HP. It is resting on one of its shorter edges. Twenty mm. Thirty five mm again. And this again, if you observe, it will be 20 mm. If you are uncomfortable doing the rectangular square without the protractor, please don't do that. Since I am used to drawing the rectangles and squares without the protractor, I will be able to do it and get the proper 90 degrees. Some of you who are beginners will not be able to do that. So I would suggest that you use the protractor to get the 90 degrees and then locate the points of 20 mm and then draw the rectangle. So please be very careful. So I have the shorter edge which happens to be 20 mm and the longer edge which happens to be 35 mm. So let us name these points. So I have my point A, my point B, my point C and my point D. We will have to provide the dimensions or show the dimensions. So one side which is 35 mm. the other one which is 20 mm So let us draw the projection lines and get the front view for this. So B and C have a common projection line and A and D have another common projection line. So this over here is my B dash bracket C dash and this here is my A dash bracket D dash. Join this with proper visible lines. So you can see here this is 20, 35 mm. We shall get our front view. So we are satisfying three criteria that is shape, dimension and resting on HP. More precisely it is resting on one of its shorter edges. So here I have the shorter edge which is 20 mm either I can choose A to D or I can choose B to C. But what is not provided is the angle of inclination to HP but what is provided is it is rotated till it appears as a square in the top view. 
So what we will be doing is instead of drawing the second position front view first, which is the standard procedure, we will be drawing the second position top view and then we will be getting the front view for the scene. So from here I shall draw the projection lines that is D and C and A and B and then I will take an appropriate vertical line at a distance of 20 mm I shall locate the point again over here So I am drawing the top view which is a square. So A, B, C and D. So this is a square of size 20 mm. 20 mm. So A to B, A to D both remain 20 mm. So 35 mm has become 20 mm and 20 mm remains constant. Twenty mm. So let us see now what its front view looks like. I shall draw it in such a way that my shorter edge AD is on the XY line and my the other shorter edge the opposite side happens to be lifted above. So measure this draw longer projection line and I will draw shorter projection line from this point I have a dash bracket d dash next using the protractor I shall measure the resistance from a dash bracket d dash to b dash bracket c dash okay keeping it here I shall cut the arc I shall get the point b dash bracket c dash join this with proper visible line I shall get my front view. Now using the protractor we will be able to measure what is the angle. So the angle which I have gotten happens to be 55 degrees. So theta I shall write it as 55 degrees. So again similar to the beta angle plus or minus 1 degree variations are accepted in manual drafting. Now finally in the third position, we will have to satisfy the criteria that the edge on which the lamina rests being parallel to both HP and VP. Right? So the edge on which it rests. So which is the edge on which it is resting? A to D. Now A to D should be drawn in such a way that it is parallel to both VP and HP. So if a line is to be drawn parallel to both VP and HP, it is to be drawn parallel to the XY line. So when we draw it parallel to the XY line, it essentially becomes parallel to both the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. So in the third position, I shall draw another square and I shall tell you what I'll be doing. So I'll draw another square of size 20 mm only. And I shall rename it now. Now A to D should be parallel to the XY line. So I will take this point as my point A, my point B, my point C and finally my point D. Now if you observe A to D has been rotated over here like this. The point A and D are moving here. Now this line AD is parallel to the XY line. Now when it is parallel to the XY line, it is parallel to both the reference planes or the reference planes in this case is the 
horizontal plane and the vertical plane. So let us draw the projection lines now and get the front view for this. So I have my point A and A dash over here meeting here. So this becomes my new or final A dash. B and B dash are meeting here. So this is my new and final B dash. C and C dash are meeting here. So this is my new and final C dash. And D and D dash are meeting here. So this is my new and final D dash. So join all these four points with proper visible lines. We shall get our front view. So now, if you observe carefully, the angle of inclination to HP has not been provided and the angle of inclination to VP also has not been provided in this question, but the values for the same have been provided indirectly. Essentially, the angle of inclination to HP has not been provided, but what is provided is the top view looks like a square. And finally, <coughs> the angle of inclination to VP has also not been provided, but what is provided is parallel the lamina the edge on which the lamina rests being parallel to both hp and vp or parallel to vp so a to, a to d is parallel to the xy line it is parallel to both the vertical plane and the horizontal plane thank you for your time